So today will be the first day in test that I will uh, put air on this internal firing system. What it means is that now the magazines can be 3D printed and there's nothing inside of the magazine that holds pressure. So they're just plastic magazines with a spring inside of them to feed the BBs and that's all what they do. And now the, the output valve is built in a little lower into the fire assembly, the piping assembly. Um, this is done mostly with metal fittings or brass fittings so it should be safe. Only thing that I can consider that going on is the output valve is pressed against the fitting and that might be pushed away in a moment when I want to put some pressure on it. That might be a thing that I can uh, fix later on with some things but the way I want to do it right now is that it is easy removable in case you need to surface the output valve but you might conclude that you want to GB weld it or something else so that this kind of fix to it permanently so you don't have to worry that it kind of separates over time but we will see I will do at first a low pressure kind of build up just here if I hear a leak if I hear a leak then I kind of know that I should be either fix the spacing a little bit or uh, need to fix that part in a different way no, clear you hear a leak, leak so I changed the fitting here there's a different design uh, looks to be better for this type of purpose so you probably can hear it, there's still a leak uh, between the output valve and the fittings, that's at least what I suspect at the moment. But now you will just see if it cycles. So as you just saw, it was not, still, uh, it was not perfect, it was still leaking. But I will show you here how it is built. Uh, I didn't know how I want to go about to fix the issue that I was running into. But here you have the fire pin like normal and to press against the, the Mac output valve like you would normally would have in a magazine. Once that is pressed then the air can flow um, back up to this channel right here and then through the TPU piece that is your Mac rubber. Uh, why, this is the one, why is this one piece? So there's less of an air leakage going on because the air can flow at this point when it's opened. So this should be enough. Then it's supported by the rest of the body of the uh, pipe in assembly. And then the air can flow. So it should not want to go and creep between uh, the layer lines. Now the issue is, is that the output valve body is not really pressed against this breast piece good enough. So it is leaking quite severely. So all I want to go about is to put some silicon right here around there. Carefully to not put it around this piece because it needs to be moving. And then press it against that. While I'm at it I will also do it uh, around this edge right here around the TPU just to give that uh, a good seal as well as you notice this is quite uh, delicate so be careful with that when you do handle this so it's best to install this like this so I can kind of support the underside and then take this as one unit and then place it on there as um, long as it is installed it's fine but there's not much room to work with uh, so yeah that's that's how it is this section right here from the hose and the fittings that's all fine it's just normal fittings and, and things like that that will not leak so the, and that was all it's already tested it's not a problem it's when you start to introduce this portion right here gets a little bit tricky to do it with 3D printed parts. The idea was that this was tight enough that it pressed against the, the fitting but to get those tolerances right and 
for let's say a second build even for me to have the same tolerances would be really really hard to get so I want to give that silicon thing a try uh, it would be kind of a pain if you have to uh, re re uh, disassemble it later on but then again uh, it should not be that big of a deal because it's just a tiny amount you apply there at the spots so yeah we will see how that goes but at least then it's a little bit more easy and more forgiving to accommodate for different output valve sizes tolerances things like that um, it's already an issue of different angled fittings that those might have different sizes so uh, that's already a thing so I don't want to over complicate everything but yeah that's pretty much it and uh, I now will be waiting to get a softer TPU 95A is not too bad it feels pretty close to the, the normal one and with the 3D printed Mac thing we have seen that it works but I think if you use a softer one it will just blow up just a little bit more against the valve uh, the nozzle so it will probably work better also on lower pressures so we'll give that one a try and then reassemble a thing like this and give it another test and see how it works then but for now this is the kind of the update on it and of course it still got the same lock pin pin going on and it will also work for an um, FA model just with a different design of fire pin but it can be applied on that one as well uh, this is the, done with a Rogue 6 lower, but it can also be installed on FGC 6 lowers. Uh, it's designed in a way that it will clear both bolts. So you can just drop in the same module in your lower and then uh, you will have this, uh, this system, let's say. So the magazine itself will be made in a few options when the project is really uh, done, let's say, and not so experimental. Uh, there will be different designs, so this is the Danny Meatball edition, let's say, that's based on this Memendus V2, version 2, and this is a Stingray uh, magazine. Uh, there will be also some length options with uh, mainly I think the Danny Meatball magazines because those are more newer modern magazines. For both magazine platforms the base plates are original so you can just press in the button at the, at the bottom and slide out the base plate so you can change different uh, designs if you want or things like that, colors. Um, there will be options to have an um, enclosed magazine that always needs to be filled uh, with a speed loader from the top. This will give it a more realistic look. Also less dirt that can get inside. But the downside of course you cannot remove your magazine and do a check how much you have left roughly. Um, so yeah both got their down and upside let's say this one you can also fill from uh, the, the bottom let's say by putting the follower down it's not the style I like but I see a lot of people do that in videos so probably apparently that is a thing people like to do uh, it seems to mess up the stacking of the BBs uh, with the stingray edition that would not really be possible because of this grip thing um, so if you go for the open model it's only that you can kind of see the top portion of your magazine if there's still some left that is usable let's say or that you say there's so many uh, not only a few rounds left just swap out from fresh magazine when you do want to do a tactical reload let's say that's kind of the reasoning behind that um, and that's how that works like I've shown before um, those magazines have the internals removed and that's now placed inside of the 5 pin assembly I think I will be only making a flat gasket but we will see time will tell 
Um, but that is how it works. There's also a Mac stop built in the pipe pin assembly, so you cannot over insert it. Also, a thing with it is the magazines are quite light because it's just 3D printed plastic uh, with a hollow inside and just a spring, and that's all. So, that can be a positive or a downside. It's not really realistic, does not really add much weight to your replica, so it feels a little bit more toy like, let's say. The benefit is that you can take a lot of magazines with you, and it doesn't weigh a lot. Probably five of them, it's not even close to one uh, magazine normally. Also, the length is more easy to uh, have now longer magazines for way less money than normally it would be. So that's nice about it. Again, you can print really long extended magazines and it will save you a lot of money compared with normal uh, magazines would cost. Uh, you can also go for the really small ones in case you really like to do a lot of reloading. But at a faster pace because you no longer, no longer have to worry about the, the ASPA hose so do they drop freely uh, sometimes they do seem to drop freely but because they are so light uh, they sometimes get a little bit stuck it seems so uh, yeah it's it you might want to add some weight to it to have really free dropping magazines in a reliable way for speed reloads let's say